you're welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen in orthographic projection now for clearer explanation i have reproduced the figure in isometric on my drawing sheet where i will be focusing on this diagram which is the same as diagram at the right hand side of the screen in orthographic projection now if you look closely we are told to draw in first angle projection. So the first thing you do when you hear the word orthography projection is for you to draw your quadrant, right? What I mean by your quadrant, your y and your x axis in this fashion. In this fashion, you are going to draw your y axis this way. And you draw your x axis this way. You can see that now you take your compass and you measure at least five millimeter on your meter wheel. Like this is zero to five. You can see that and you place it at the center here. You mark up, mark down, you mark left, and you also what mark right. And once you've done that, you just take your compass, your root pencil, and you draw a vertical line across this line this way. And here also this way then you do the same thing here also across those points across those points you can see that this is the first thing you're going to do now all these outer corners are your reference points now this is the first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant so since we are told to draw in first angle projection my front elevation will be on this quadrant. Is that okay now? My front elevation will be where? On this quadrant. Either of these two boats. This is preferred. Now, front elevation means if you look at the arrow, we are looking at this direction here. So when you look at this direction, what are you going to see? Now, if you look at this now, in terms of the front elevation, we are focusing on the length and the height. So what is the total length here? Let's see. From here to here is 60 right and from here to here is 30 meaning the total length is what 90 right now if you look at this from here to here is parallel to from here to here that's why we call them the entire length you cannot focus on this 20. now let's see something now from here to here right is from here to here and from here to here is from here to here you will be seeing that this end here is on the same line as this because you are looking at an angle of what 90 degree so you're looking these two ends from here to here and from here to here to be on the same line that is why you are saying it this way so if i name here to be my a right here will be what my b so i'll be seeing a b and what is the entire length of a b that is what 60 plus 30 and that is what 90 so i'm going to measure 90 where will i start from i'll start from here 0 to 9 is 90 and I can take in it 0 to 9 is what is 90 now the next thing is the height now if you see from here to here which is 20 and from here to here which is 20 as the total height and that is 40 so from here to here is from here to here and from here to here is from here to here you're looking you see as if here and here with here and here are on the same line right you cannot differentiate so that is 40 so i'm going to measure my total height of what 40 so i can take my instrument at this end here i'll just draw a vertical line and i'm going to measure what 40 so you measure 40 from 0 here to 4 is 40 which i can just take in you can see that which I can what I can just take in. That is the 40 that we have there. So taking so you'll be seeing them as so what I mean is you'll be seeing this part here. Let me call it C and this is what C and be seeing this part here. Let me call it D and this is what this is D. So the place you'll be seeing is that the key now. Now the next thing is um I will now measure a distance of from here to here is from here to here which is the same from here to here and that is 20 so i'm going to measure a distance of what 20 
So if I draw a line this way, so what's the thickness there? That is 20. So I'm going to measure 20. So from 0 to 2 is 20, which I can thicken. You can see that? And I'll bring it down this way. Can you see that? Now, from this point to this point is from here to here, which is the same from here to here, and that is 10. So I want to know the thickness where this line will end. So meaning that from this point to this point is what? Is 10, right? So I'm going to measure 10. So from 0 to this point is what? Is 10. So this is where I'm going to bring my line downward to that point. You can see that so that is from this point to this point is from this point you're saying here and here and here and here to be on the same straight line so from here to here is from here to here and from here to here is from here to here right so that's what i did there so i'm trying to uh, draw a line from this point to meet here because from this point which is this point which is sending as this point to the ending point here which is ending point here right and that is the ending point around here so i'm going to draw my line this way and i'll take it you can see that and i'll close it up in this fashion here is that taken now the next thing is from this point to this point and from this point to this point right is given to be what 40 year to year sent in a saying from year to year and that is from here to here which is what 40 but the question is what is the height from here to here the height from here to here if you look at this point this point from here to here you be seeing here to here as if it's on the same anything you are seeing will look as if they're on the same line right so from here to here will look as if it's on the front too so from here to here right as you can see there is from here to here and the question is what is the height so the height is what is 20 because if from here to here is 20 here to here also be 20 here to here also is 20 which is in the same from here to here and that is 20 so i'll measure the 20 here the height of what 20 0 to 2 right and i'll just draw a line across that point this way and what is the length from here to here is from here to here which is same from here to here and that is what 40 so let me call it to the word if this is the i'll call it to the word e if yes e here also is what is e you can see that e too and the length is what 40 so i'm going to measure what 40 so from 0 to 4 is 40 and i cannot stick in it I see that and I'm going to bring it down. You can see that now. The next one is this side is on the same level as this. Can you see that? So I'm going to bring this down also straight ahead. So we have successfully drawn that. Remain one more from here to here, which is C. This is from here to here, and that's 20. So I'm going to measure 20 from this point 0 to 2 is 20, and I'll close it up from here to here. I'll close it up. Can you see that? So from here, so from here, this is what we have here. We have successfully reproduced the front elevation with something as this here, right? This is B, so here also is what is B. If I want to explain better, this is what this is B. So one thing to understand about autocad projection is you have seen everything as if they're on a straight line are you with me now from the front elevation so this is the front elevation now what about the plan the plan means it's always under the front elevation whenever you're drawing a first angle projection and the plan is dealing with the length and the width so if the elevation is 60 the plan also will be what 60. so let's bring that down the end here down right so what is the width of the plan the width of the plan is this side here that is 30 plus 20 and that is what um, 50 so i'm going to measure from here to be what 50 from 0 to 5 is what is 50 
right and I'm going to close it up here so let's start now this end here of this plan here this end here right is the same thing as this end here is that again and from here to here is from here to here because if you see from here to here and from here to here I see down the same line that's how we're drawing a straight line here so I'm going to draw my straight line on that point there from this point here I'll draw my straight line this way and I'll stop here right and the next thing is um from here to here is from here to here right with something I'm saying here so what I'll just do is I can easily draw this aspect down here this way from here to here I'll just bring it down this way hope you can see that right and what do you notice um what do you notice at this other side is sticking from the beginning to the end because you see all this from here to here here to here and here to here as you do on a straight line so i'm going to draw a straight line which i am going to tick in from the beginning straight down to the end you can see that and the next thing is uh, what i'm doing here is i'll bring all this line downward here this way right then what i'll do is from here to here is from here to here which is what 30 so i'll measure 30 because this end here is this end here so i'll measure 30 downward so you're measuring 30 downward from this point from 0 to 3 is 30 right and i'm going to bring it down right you see these two ends this from here to here and here to here i see down the straight line so i'm going to take in that straight line here right just like i did here and the next thing is i'll measure 30 which is this 30 here from the beginning to this point so i'm going to measure 30 from 0 2 to 3 is 30 and i will close it up so this is how i'll close it up here you can see that now the next thing is the thickness from here to here is from here to here and that is given as what if you look closely from here to here will be what will be 20 that again that is what 20 so I'm going to measure out the 20 out on that point. So let's do that. So I'll measure 20 at this point here. From 0 to 2 is 20, right? And I'll draw it close here. And I'll close it down here too. You can see that. Then the next one is um, from here to here right is from here to here and that is 20 so on this line here i'm going to measure what 20 so from 0 to 2 is going to be 20 right and i'm going to close it up i'm going to close it up i'm going to close it up You can see that and I'll also take this down all this way from here straight down just like what you can see from here to here is from here to here so you've seen this level here to here and here to here see down a straight line right and I'll just close this one up here right and I'll close it up to here so this is what we see looking on the top we are going to see F this is F here on the top, and this is F. This is G, and this is what G, right? This is H, and this is H. All this point here you're seeing is given to be what I, and we have what I, right? I, I can just move forward and say here is what G, and here is what also G. So that is what we have there. So this is the plan looking at it from the top, and that is what you're going to see when looking at it from the top. Are we together now the next thing is to draw it the end view and you looking at it from this side looking from this side this is what you do the first thing you do place your set square here and your 45 degree set square target the center of that line and draw a line this way at an angle of 45 degree right and project all this point you have here to this end here project all this point you have here to this end here can you see that? 
then this one too you project it out this way and you take this upward this first line and the last line you can see that so let's see what will happen now if you're looking at it from this side here to here and here to here we'll look at it down the straight line and the entire length is what 50 we've already gotten that 50 and you just stick in it because from the beginning to the ending you see it as a straight line so i'll draw my sticking line here right and the next one is i'll draw this out this way so this thickness from here to here which is 10 from here to here is also 10 and it's ending as this so i'm going to take in it taking it this way right and taking it this way too you can see that then i'll take in here too now the next thing is um you will see here to here here to here and here to here see down the straight line right you've seen i see the word down the straight line so that's what you're going to do i'll just bring that out so before that uh let's see what will happen let me take this up first right so this one you see here this block here you're seeing is from here to here it will end here right so i'll just close it up from here to here then here will be from here straight down to this point you can see that and i'll close it up both of them hmm. i'll close it up right then the next one should be this side here i'll bring it up Then this will move from here to here. Right? Then the next one will be this line you're seeing here. Can you see that? If you're looking from here, you see this shape. Let me call it to be um, after G, we have K. Here also you see K. You see all this L shape is what is L. So all this L shape is what is L, right? That's what I'm about to do. So if I should bring this this way. This will give me that. So I mean that that is where I'll do my L shape, my Z shape. Stop here. And I'll come here too. And I'll come here too. Can you see that? Then the last but not the least is uh, this line you're seeing here, which is this point here you're seeing. This will be blocking this so they're like on the same plane, right? So this angle you're seeing here is at this point here is to end here so if i just project it up then um i'll just close it up this way you can see that so this one you see k this is m here also is m this is n here also is what n the other side is yeah what we have there so this is the end elevation looking at it from the side the things you're going to see you're only focusing on this side not in the other side so this is the front elevation this is the end view front elevation on the plan this is what we we'll call first angle projection and if you are told to draw in third angle right please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like the video these two diagram will come down and these two will go up that will be in third angle but when you remain like this, this is first angle and if this is coming here, when it is here, it will be going like this. So you get logic. So if you have found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.